Jessie Beach Scrapbook came back with another process video. This one is for 30 days of sketches. This is for day 11. Here is the sketch. It is a fun one by CC. And the last name is Ian Easy. And um, yeah, so I am going to use this paper pad. It's a mixed media paper pad I got at Walmart. It is very thin paper so I probably put it onto a piece of cardstock and then build up my layers from there. I have some scraps picked out that I want to use and a full sheet for the background so I'll use these and then here are the pictures that I'm going to be scrapbooking. These, This is my son and my nephew. They went in and got a haircut and so, uh, yeah, I decided to snap a picture of them with their haircut, and we'll, yeah, so, anyways, so let's get going. <laughs> okay, so I have decided to use this grid paper as my background. Um, I'm just cutting it down to eight and a half by 11. And then I'm going to mount it onto this yellow cardstock because I have a lot of this yellow and um, it's really bright. <laughs> so I don't mind covering it all up. Um, so I'm going to get this all mounted on there. Now it's a nice heavy piece of paper for my background to work with. And I'm going to start cutting some of these scraps into um, usable uh, layers that I want for this layout. Um, I'll fix my lighting here in a second. I'm sorry about it not being very good. But I, I will notice when I look up at my camera and go, oh, whoops. <sighs> Alright, so I, I like this. Um, brick wall so it's going to be in the back and then I want this paint peeling wall um, as the very background with just a little bit of that um, grid showing and I end up I do um, get that uh, one piece um, the grid in the background. I do it off camera, but and it is still glued to that yellow piece of paper, but that's okay. <laughs> I'll just stick it in in the bag because I'm looking going, wow, I covered up a lot of that grid and I really liked it. So here is where I'm using my um, scissors. These are the scallop scissors and I just put a little scallop edge just like she has in the sketch and um yeah, I like I like that. I tore the top of that um, brick page and uh, just to give it a little bit more um, something. She had, I think, a, yeah, it's a like a notebook edge. Um, I didn't want to do the notebook edge, so I just did a, a tear on the top. And I will tear the bottom up just a little bit. I think I might do that one off camera, too. But um, I decided I wanted to add some more texture into this bottom corner. Um, and she has some labels and a circle down there. So I'm just going to put some um, different pieces of paper um, in this bottom corner and kind of just layer it up. And I think it turned out really cute. And then um, I will do some embellishing in that corner in a little bit right now I think I'm going to do yeah the title which is just going to be um, haircut um, because these two went in and got their haircut so I got pictures of them and yeah so while I'm putting the title down um, the title is with the um, color vibes by simple story um, alpha stickers so I really like them but uh 
So while I'm putting the title down, I want to remind everyone to go and check out the playlist down below where everybody that is participating this whole month is um, putting their uh, videos. Well, I think everybody is. There might be one or two that hasn't put their videos in there, but you can definitely look on YouTube and see the different um, uh, thumbnail of everybody that is playing along. And but most people do are doing the um, have theirs in this uh, playlist and it is huge. <laughs> There's a lot of people playing along. It's so awesome. I started to put flowers in the top and bottom uh, of these clusters and then changed my mind because, um, yeah, I, I just didn't think it fit. So I have these adorable little there. It's a. Fawn, a squirrel, some trees, and a bear that I actually got at a baby shower. It was the theme of the baby shower. And the lady that was having the baby shower was happy to give me all these. They're like sprinkly bits to go over top of um, the confetti like over the tables and stuff and they were so cute and she didn't use them so she just gave me the whole package. I have a whole package of these uh, little animals. And so I'm just going to put them in these two corners. Um, I did pull out, this is a Christmas sticker book. And I grabbed, um, two, so I will grab, yeah, I grabbed two trees. And I just took the star off the top, so you can't even tell if they were supposed to be Christmas trees. And then I'm grabbing, like, little um, fir boughs. And so I'm sticking them, yeah, here's the second Christmas tree. Thought I grabbed two. Um, and then I'm just sticking these little fur boughs down. And then I end up not using this little fawn. I try. I really, really try. But it just didn't work. So you'll see me mess around with it for a little bit. And finally, I'll just set it off to the side. But, um, yeah, I, I just like these little trees and the little animals. In both these corners um, it kind of goes with my son's sweatshirt it's a shape of Montana and it says we're full and he loves that sweatshirt <laughs> and so now I'm trying to figure out what else to do so I'm going to add some more little fur boughs and these are clear stickers and but they show up really nicely and then I'm going to come in with some puffy paint in red and just do some little scattering around each of the clusters um, off camera, I do come in with a gel pen and outline the photos and the layered papers because I thought it was kind of blending in a little too much. So you'll see that in the um, still socks in the end. So if you liked what you see, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more, please subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. And check out everybody else that is doing 30 Days of Sketches this month. Thanks for watching. Bye.